So my cordless drill broke and I had an idea and this might not look like it belongs on a channel about noisemakers and instruments, but... <laughs> So when my cordless drill burnt out, I didn't want to completely waste the parts. I'd had this thought, this idea mulling around in my head anyway. So I decided to make myself this war horn, a noise pistol. It's a sonic weapon. If you're into Warhammer 40,000, you might recognize it as something like a doom siren. Or if you're familiar with the modern rogue, you would notice the family resemblance to their honk of wrongdoor. I don't have video on the build process, but let me tell you a little bit about how I cobbled it all together. So this thing's really only made up of three main parts. You've got whatever you're using as a handle, trigger, and power assembly. In my case, it was a 20 volt cordless battery powered drill. I just cut off everything north of the safety switch. I got rid of the motor. The clutch was burnt out. The motor was old and, and pretty much dead. Uh, it was all just garbage, but this is just all I needed. The next part is an Uga horn from Harbor Freight. I paid, I think it was like 10 bucks for this. The main problem with this is that it runs on 12 volts. So the third part is the voltage converter or regulator or uh, step down or whatever you want to call it. I bought a specific one for this project because I needed it to step down from 20 volts to 12 volts. Found it on Amazon. I think it was another 10 bucks. Uh, you would have to find one that would step down from whatever voltage your power supply is to the 12 volts that the horn needs. And once you've got those parts, uh, the build is really actually pretty simple because all I had to do was splice power into the converter and then splice it back out of the converter into the horn. I had the power coming from the trigger mechanism of the drill, so I didn't have to get fancy with a switch or anything like that. If you're going straight from a power supply, of course, you're gonna want to add in like a momentary switch or a push button or something. Now I did a little bit of greebling. I didn't go too crazy with it, but to mention Warhammer 40,000 again, if you are a fan, you may have noticed that this is a piece of a terrain kit. I just stuck on the back. It was about the right diameter so that it kind of became more of the body of the gun. I sprayed everything on the body black and then I did a like a heavy dry brush of silver and gray to make all these details stand out, to make the ridges on this stand out. I was going to do a little bit more detailing, kind of make it a little bit more industrial looking, a little bit more mean or whatever, but I, I really just, I called it a day at this point. It's silly. It doesn't need to be anything but what it is. And of course, what it is is... <laughs> Now, eventually I want to buy one of those like long chrome truck horns that they sell. And I want to do like a blunderbuss version, you know, a real big like Blastmaster, make a whole wooden stock for it. And when I do get around to that, I will make sure to actually do a build video because that one's going to take a little bit more figuring than this. This was mostly like super glued together and epoxy together. And I didn't get too crazy in the design work, but that next one is going to be a whole thing. Uh, in the meantime, I've got a few other projects working and I'm gonna try to upload a little bit more consistently, but I also have decided after making three or four videos that I edited and then refused to post that I want to refocus on what this project was originally supposed to be. I wanna put the junk back into junk music. There's gonna be a lot more contraptions on this channel that have to do with building weird stuff that makes noise out of spare parts, broken parts, cheap things. And I'll still have some like cheap gear demos and stuff like that because the name of the game really is budget builds, budget rigs, and making more with less. And uh, hopefully you'll join me on the ride.